Flit the fantail and the flying flop. Flit the fantail and the flying flop. Flit the fantail chick is not allowed to fly. Stay here, little flit. Your wings are not strong enough for flying, said Ma and Pa Fantail. Stay safe inside the nest. Ma and Pa fly off to find food to feed Flit. Flit does feel safe in his nest, high up in the branches of the Corfi tree. But Flit is bored. He wriggles, he squirms, he fidgets, then Flit, Flit spots a tasty midge. Buzz. Up he climbs to the edge of the nest. Stretch. Flit can't quite reach it. He spreads out his fluffy feathers. I can fly, he calls. He flits. He floats. He falls. Thud. Flit gazes high up to the treetops. Oh no, how will he get back to his nest? Flit tries to fly back up. Flit, flat, flop. Poor Flit. He ends up on the forest floor in a bundle of fluffy feathers. Flit feels sad. Ma and Pa were right. I am too little to fly, he says. Kiki the kaka chick hears the fuss. What are you up to, Flit? chirps Kiki. I can't get back to my nest, flaps Flit. Kiki the kaka knows how to help. She finds a bendy fern. Come on, climb up. It's a kaka catapult. Kiki bends the fern back. Faces the nest and flit, flap, splat, flip, flip, flops down the tree trunk. Bit and Bob, the rascally robins, hear the ruckus. What are you up to, flit? They wonder. I can't get back to my nest, flit tells them. The black robins know how to help Flit. Righty ho, up we go, they say. Bit takes one side and Bob takes the other. Together they fly up towards the nest. But Flit's puku is too plump. He is too heavy for the little robins to carry far. Flit, flop, plop. Flit plummets into a puddle. Kerry the kiwi chick hears the splash. What are you up to, Flit? calls Kerry. I can't get back to my nest, flutters Flit. Kerry the kiwi knows how to help. Kerry places her beak on the bush floor. Hold on to my beak and I will lift you up. But Kerry isn't tall enough and Flit's feathers can't grip. Slip, slide, Slump. Once again, Flit flops to the forest floor. <laughs> I'm too little, I can't fly, sobs Flit. His friends gather around. They wish that they could help. Then wise old Ruru swoops down. All the noise has woken her up. Why don't you all try together, she says. Whoosh. Ruru flies back to her tree trunk perch. Now Flit's friends know what to do. Fling, flung, flump. Stretch, strut, flit, flutter. Flit's friends work hard. Together they tug Flit up, up, up. Back to his nest. Home. Home. 
Ma Fantail arrives with a beak full of food. Mama, I missed you, fusses Flit. Here's some kai to help you grow big and strong, says Ma Fantail. She feeds Flit and darts off. Flit gobbles it down. And do you know what? He does feel more grown up. In fact... Flit, float, fall, thud. Oops. And that's the end of our Flit the Fantail story. Make sure you use teamwork to get where you want to go.